30, I think we got action. Hopefully it don't shut off. Stays on. Let's see. I think we got some. See how good this thing does. Hopefully I don't touch it. All right, let's go for a walk. Here's the trail. This is where I like to park. Hey, when I was back here in 1981, there was no road here. Now they got a road. So, see what we got here. This is Jim Thorpe. Named after the Native American, Jim Thorpe. What do we got here? They fixed this up. They got something for bicyclist. Abba. Abba's coming out with a new album. 2021, hey. Today is, today is November 9. God bless the creator in Jesus name and the Rebbe. Today, God bless everything, every day. Let's just go take a walk. Something going on. Yeah, we're just gonna take a walk today. Enjoy it, I hope. I hope it's all good. Thank you, Creator, for giving me another chance to come back to this place. Lehigh River cuts it. The walk and purchase. Maybe about a mile from this part downstream called Weissport. That's where the, uh, after a day and a half of walking, uh, they ended up in Weissport along the Lehigh River. And that was enough. They drew a line up to the Delaware Water Gap and the, and the Delaware River itself was the other boundary to the starting point. Yeah, that's back in 1737. Pissed off a lot of people. Contract, schmontrack. Consequences, schmonsequences. Oh, I wanna go over there. I'm gonna have to jump the fence down here. Well, yeah, there's other ways to go on this on this route. Should have went over there. Oh well. I'm gonna jump the fence here. It is what it is. Look at this. <clears throat> Alright. Get yourself. Da -da 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 -da. You know, I remember when this trestle, well, originally when it was falling apart, unfortunately, I think a couple people kind of fell through the wooden planks. And then they built this maybe 10 years. Not sure. Either way, it's nice to see they did this. Oh, and I believe that this is almost connected all the way down to, well, I might even go to Philly eventually, but you know, there's canals along Ah, look at the forest here, look at this. They used to chop the, chop the trees, send it down the river, and that's what melted the ore. 1600, 1700, and then the 1800, they figured out coal. And when they figured out coal, they built a canal system along the river. This is the Lehigh River. They got a canal system going along all the way up this river, all the way up. Well, I'm not sure how far, up pretty, at least 20, 30 miles. And then they go down this Lehigh River connects 20 miles down maybe uh, into Easton. Yep. And they used to take the coal. That's all abandoned once they got trucks. Well, railroad. Railroad replaced the boats and the canals. <laughs> the horses. The donkey. Dominic the donkey, I think, used to pull it. I think I've seen a picture of Dominic on one of these little train station doohickeys. Anyway, uh, I got to make a stage right. Like I said, I should have should have went on over there. Uh, I guess a lot of people kind of jump right here, huh? Yeah, well, let me try and let me try without busting everything I got here. Okay, get some, get some. Dominic the donkey. All right. Well, I wanted to come a lot earlier. I would have had the sun overhead. 
you know, sunshine. Sunshine makes something really nice. Shines off everything. Oh, maybe we'll catch a couple tributaries. Maybe we'll catch a couple tributaries. Glistening in the sun rays. Oh, I remember blitzing once and all you heard was my big rhinoceros breath and something scraping. So maybe I shouldn't go too fast and fast and breathe. <clears throat> what can I do? Appreciate the breath till the breath stops. However, there's something to say about being healthy. All right, let's get some. Yeah, is that a chunk of coal? Coal dust, coal comes off the railroad tracks here. You know, it's part of the Appalachian Mountains here. Anyway, um, uh, you can, it's hard to tell, but yeah, you can't tell from here, but Jeans Run, J-E-A-N-S, is a creek or crick or crack or right, whatever you want to call a crick, a stream. Everybody picks on it. Everybody's a critic. <laughs> Especially those English teachers, boy. Boy, were they always tough. They ain't sure are particular about where he stick the comma. No, I was always good with the commas, but yeah, it was all that other stuff. I don't know. But you have to be, you know. I mean, I went into science and engineering. And you gotta be, yeah, you can't have the decimal point off. <laughs> I remember one time engineering struts, mechanical engineering. I remember I was really good in that class. I had the whole subject mastered, but I bought a brand new calculator, a scientific calculator that does, I think it's called RPN, multiple procedures, mathematical operators. <clears throat> so anyway, I wasn't used to it <clears throat> and uh, I bombed the test, but I knew everything on it, but I didn't know how to operate the calculator. <clears throat> and I tried, tried explaining that to the professor. And he just looked at me and said, there goes the bridge, Sam. <laughs> there goes the bridge. That's right here, here's that bridge I went across. Hey, I don't care about your filthy excuses. The decimal's off. You're stupid because you're an idiot. You don't know how to use a calculator. Whatever your excuses. The bridge falls down, the bridge falls down. It's your fault. And I learned that early on. There's no excuses. You go over it. You go over it as many times until you can go to sleep at night. Bam. Well, that's the engineering mind honed after hundreds of years. The Western culture, of course, it's world, world called discipline, discipline. Well, on a side note, let's just pray. Well, I prayed and my fusion experiment is uncovered soon. I don't know what are they doing here. Oh, baby, get some. They're moving things around. Look at the colors. Today's a nice day. They say tomorrow's gonna be warm too. We'll see how long this global warming. <laughs> hey, God controls the thermostat. Anyway, see what happens. <clears throat> 